shout out to Killer the Flower Moon. I really hate your photos. That truly ruined two years of my life. I could get so many auditions, so many movies. I'm just a loser right now. Literally because of you. I don't get it. You don't have to be a certain nationality to pay a certain nationality. I was just trafficked in a school um, when I was 23 years old and uh, I was abused by a lot of people and I had to play a Native American girl saying that one of my friends was, actually one of my last friends was Native American and since then I just find it really difficult to trust anybody and all of his friends abused me. Literally all of his friends wanted to me. And I think people like Charlie Theron went through this too. So it's just not me, there's a lot of people. Like Charlie's Theron, she went through this her entire life because she was too cute. Well, maybe you have maybe so it's your fault and a lot of your stuff. It's not maybe my fault. Maybe it's your fault. And the way you cast actors and the way you talk to people and you're like talking to Leo yesterday and I'm like, okay, let's hang out. And he's like, okay, let's hang out. And then he's like, buy me a $50, a $50 iTunes card, I don't have that. I feel an artist should be really free with money, not always tied up to money. Like, I have no idea why even money exists to this point. I mean, it's so upsetting, it's so upsetting why people just want to get into your business. Just, why don't you understand? I'm working on a movie for two years and I couldn't be part of it and some random person on Hollywood some random person on Hollywood Boulevard <laughs> stole my movie part. You know why? Because you don't want to give the power to women ever. You don't want to appreciate women. You don't want to make women feel good. It's just all about you and the woman that you want to hurt actually. You actually hire women to hurt the woman you like. That makes you crazy. That makes you insane. Seriously, it's so upsetting. It's so upsetting. It's so, so upsetting that a person like that on Hollywood Boulevard should steal my, steal my movie part. Bro, I went to every single studio in Hollywood. I went to every single play in Hollywood. I literally did all of that. It was time for me to blossom on screen. my time to blossom on screen because trust me, I have so many fans and they're literally texting me right now. I have literally 70 fans and I'm telling my fans if they want to talk to me, they can get an appointment. We can be like friendly, we can, if they, but they have to pay like 40, 50 dollars to talk to me. Why? Because I started this channel. I started to connect to people in the world. Um, and I look at it as a job. And I feel there's a huge responsibility behind that. It's not like I just did it to like fool around, you know. So if you think I can help you, I would love for you to at least pay Twenty, thirty dollars for me to talk to you because because if you're you have this money and I have the knowledge and I have you know a channel maybe you know I can, maybe I can help you with your business with my platform 
but it seems like everybody just wants to get high and just mess around and they think like the celebrity is a puppet or something no i started as an architect and you know i was around people that had billions of dollars and maybe maybe i just couldn't do that part as an art but i did spend a lot of time studying doing research and all of that and i just feel I didn't get what I needed and people just didn't pay me for my time back then. So I recommend to all, all the young people that are starting a YouTube channel, nothing should be free. You should not be free. Your image should not be free. And a lot of people are making millions of dollars out of it. And if the world would be united and, you know, people would just follow this. If people could understand that maybe if we all follow this trend and maybe if we all have a social media to connect to other humans because literally everybody is shy and everybody gets you know harassed really fast like people get offended like in one two three people are offended right now so if everybody had this opportunity to like connect with each other on a different level we wouldn't be having any poverty we wouldn't have to walk miles away to get our favorite food. We wouldn't have to break our backs to make money because we would feel each other as humans for one each other. And when we don't feel for each other, when we don't care about one each other's dreams, when we don't care about the artist's background. So that means that we're de definitely not respecting each other. And when we're not respecting each other, we're not respecting each other we're literally ruining each other's lives. I mean, when there was a shutdown, it was kind of like, not cool, but it was just telling us that the future is gonna be different than right now. The future is not gonna be us starving for money in the future, hopefully, if we get to help each other in some way, but maybe it's gonna get worse. You never know, maybe it's gonna get worse. But if you don't want to get, if you don't want it to get worse, then why don't you start from your local artist? Why don't you start helping your local friends? Why don't you start helping the people that you interact with on social media instead of playing tricks or just saying a bunch of lies to each other? I really think that I could offer so much in a movie part that I worked on for two years, but unfortunately there are so many people that are just thirsty to have their name on a cast list without even knowing what another person went through for this part. And they think it's funny to disrespect the other person and their beliefs and what they totally believe in or what's their background or their nationality. And they think that it's really funny to act in certain ways but you're not funny you're literally damaging celebrities and and like you're literally damaging leo too because you don't care about what he cares about and you're just making him go crazy like if you're acting in a movie it doesn't mean that you have to be constantly toxic it's really sad that people have no respect for the artist's choices like for example if i was talking to someone or you know just even dating someone in school or wherever and some people would just come along and be like oh i want you like what the hell why can't you just go and learn some like teach something to your ex-girlfriends that they can maybe pick up a little bit on my personality but you can't just like tore me into pieces and be like Oh, I want you. You you can't force that stuff to, stuff on people. Like literally, you you don't even know what is my story. My story is like somebody that constantly gave me promises to be this and that, and couldn't couldn't even afford to just be a little bit faithful. Just be a little bit really sad that. You literally have no respect for the artist or what the artist wants and you keep like interrupting uh, it, it's really upsetting that you keep on interrupting like stop interrupting like if somebody likes another person and they would be happy with each other stop interrupting and stop acting fake and be like 
oh, okay, we're gonna get like a couple of wives in different movies. Just stop like being like that. Like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to achieve? Like, you say you need a private life, you need something private, you need to be with somebody that can help you out or respect you. And then you always go and name the wrong people on yourself. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, doesn't make any sense at all. I feel if you told somebody that you're gonna send a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars or a billion dollars or even ten dollars or fifty dollars it's really better to send it and see how the growth would come along because if you don't that means you care about money more than humans and that makes you a very 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 disgusting pr person because money is not more important than humans money is something that can be made in a company over and over again but for for a human to even come to this world it takes so it, it takes literally 10 months from a baby to be like born from a mother and you just like you think it's like money is more important than humans you put this into people's brains because your governments just just made you feel, think it's okay to do that and your banks just had no interest in you other than flirting with you over the phone because they only cared about the money that they're making 400 billion dollars or whatever and like coach brothers or whoever those people are and they think they're better than us no but i think they have a very tragic story because i was like listening to the coach brothers and he was like oh my sister was in jail my brother was in jail so it's a person that decided to not be the victim of the society and they're trying to do something and you're just like not understanding that it's really upsetting what you do to people that you just treat them like trash and you're like oh you just do a bunch of videos you want money yes i want money yes i want 400 billion dollars yes i want it Fuck the people that stole from me, those motherfuckers. I've been everywhere, looking for you, babe, searching for you. Where have you been? Yes, I never saw you around. <laughs> Seriously, I need, I need money, yeah. So. these videos to look funny or anything i'm so upset and you have been stealing from me since i was 14 or maybe 10 or maybe 7 i'm not joking about the people who have been stealing from me they literally have been stealing from me for years since i was 14 years old they've been stealing from me what you've been doing to me is stealing I'm not gonna lie. I literally can't wait till the people who stole my money give off on being a thief. Seriously. What's so cool about stealing? Stealing my acting job, stealing my money, 